But what is up guys, it is your boy Winster and I'm back at it again with another video. And you know we keep pumping great content out. We have done board breakers. We have done the best decks in the current meta considering the new format. Now we are doing the best hand traps in the current format. Guys, if you guys want to see more content like this or enjoy this type of content, make sure that you guys subscribe number one and number two mash that notification bell that way you guys could stay up to date with all the content that drops on this channel also if you want to be part of the membership please consider it it would help me out a lot and i would really really appreciate the support let's go ahead and jump right into this hand trap tier list let's talk about it guys this is our tier list we got amazing the best of the best in the current format they have great coverage uh then we have good solid coverage situational it's okay coverage uh bad very very niche coverage and then last tier list it's jover um so let's go ahead and do fantastical dragon phantasme um i think this card is coming into players minds uh because how strong unchain is in the current format uh, has been winning several events top players are playing it and it is against one of the more popular decks in the current format being unchained um, but the problem with it is that that is probably the only real reason you're going to be playing fantastical dragon phantasme as coverage versus that deck and other link based decks but you want to use it for the strongest and because of that i think it's like very situational coverage um and i don't think it's really worth considering uh in your side deck or even in your main deck um i think there are much better options versus the deck um so because of that i think it's like bad but because it's versus the best deck in the format it gives you very niche coverage um let's talk about droll and lockbird i think this is a card that a lot of people are you know talking about should we run it in the main deck should we run it in the side deck in my honest opinion, at least the side deck. It should be at least in the side deck. Going into game two, going second, right? Depending on what deck you're going to be playing in, you could side this card in. Um, or, you know, going into game two, going second, you could side it out, uh, right? Whatever you end up wanting to do. But I definitely think it's something that you should be playing. Um, it's situational uh, because it's only good versus decks that search a shit ton. Um, but it's still when those decks do arrive this literally stops them and i think this droll and lockbird has more coverage i don't think it's bad and niche coverage i think it's like good and solid coverage uh the decks that it hurts the most d-link still a very popular deck uh branded chimera searches like crazy unchained searches uh, there are a lot of decks that still search, and that's why it's good and solid coverage, in my opinion. Now that, like, uh, a Rice Heart is gone, uh, Lancia is being considered because uh, the birds are coming back. And what I mean by the birds is Flunderese. Flunderese is still a very, very strong deck, and one of the few decks that could still run D-Shifter in the main deck and just ruin your fucking day. Um, so a lot of players are considering it, um, but because of it being so niche and Flunderese is a popular strategy, but it's not a popular strategy in the meta currently. It is starting up to rise up the ranks and it won an event recently. Um, but I think because of that, players don't want to commit to Flunderese. Um, but I think because people are anticipating it only being a couple players playing it, they're not really considering Lancia. And Lancia is only on your opponent's turn. Uh, so yes, they won't be able to banish anything and it may pause them in the tracks, but they'll still be able to play if they open the right cards on your turn. So because of that, I think it's Jover for this one. I don't think you should be playing Lancia. It's also good versus like Dragon Link, but and Flunderese, but I don't I don't think it's worth playing um, in the side or in the main. It's just too specific. When it comes to Gamma, I think it's still a very solid hand trap. Uh, yes, it has been hit on the ban list and it got hit to one, but I think overall um, It's still a really really good card not once per turn if they ash this you're still gonna have this card active uh, You could play it very offensively uh, defensively uh, It's really great in the dragon link deck because they want to play the driver that way they could mill it for the other uh, red eyes meteor dragon I can't remember the full name uh, but uh, because it's that one, it's not seen a lot of current play. Uh, it's just such a strong hand trap. And because it, I think it is niche, um, 
I think being able to be played only in one deck is not worth it, in my honest opinion. And because of that, I think it should be in bad uh, niche coverage. And I think that's the only thing that holds it back. Back when it was at three, it's amazing but it's a one of now and on top of that you have to play a brick so let's talk about ash blossom look man this card amazing coverage uh discards for cost doesn't need to have an active graveyard uh it could, it's great against flu it's great against dragon link it's great against branded despia it's great against branded chimera this card literally stops an entire deck too good out of a card it's in every single deck right now uh, it's good against almost every single of the mo best decks in the format. It's just too solid of a card. Definitely great coverage. Amazing card. You want, you gonna play Ash. Listen, bro, you're gonna play Ash. Infinite Impermanence. I'm, I didn't forget it this time, guys. Amazing, great coverage. Defensively, offensively card. It's a board breaker. It's a hand trap. Avoids triple tactics talons. A fucking a, such a super super great card and amazing artwork one of my personal favorite artworks in any card in Yu-Gi-Oh uh, but um, yeah infinite apartments amazing great coverage There's, I wish I wish you could play seven of these cards let's go ahead and talk about the bestials uh, bestials um, very very strong deck right um, there's a th couple things to consider when it comes to bestials and I think this is a great topic Right with uh, a rice heart gone, a lot of decks are jumping right back into the meta. Uh, good examples like tier limit. Now that a rice heart's gone, it's okay to mill. All decks are coming back. Uh, I do think that Bissios might rise into the meta again, uh, the way that they did, or excuse me, not exactly the way that they did, but backed in some way, shape, or form. Right, a lot of decks aren't playing it. Magnuma got hit, um, but I do see if tier limit becomes a very, very popular strategy. Uh, or a very good strategy in the meta, which it more than likely will now that a rice heart's gone. I do see here the rise in popularity of Bistios. Um, however, I think that's it's the same thing as like Fantastical Dragon Phantasme, right? It's like very situational and it doesn't do much, but because it does uh, banish the monsters in tier limit and banishes cards in unchained i would say that this card is good and very solid coverage good against tier good against unchained uh good against like branded despia good against brand chimera um obviously it's not good against flu it's not good against other cards like that but i do think that this card uh really these cards are really good and if tier comes back into the meta the way it did at one point obviously it's hit it so it's not going to come full force but i do think that people might start running these in the main or even in the side or at least like maybe a small uh bestial package in my opinion ah shifter man shifter 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 ah oh, i really dislike this card it is so good though it is so good i'm telling y'all if i had the ability if i was a fucking degenerate monkey gorilla i would be playing d shifter but i'm not i'm a sensible person i play branded Okay, so but D shifter is something that cannot be ignored. It's such a powerful hand drop. Uh, if you look at a rice heart, uh, the whole cash Tira, their whole point was just to banish all your shit. And they were the best deck for a very long time. Uh, for maybe two formats, they were definitely in the best deck. And being able to play shifter and be unfazed, stop opponents from playing, it's just too good, right? So a rice heart, what ends up happening? A rice heart ends up getting banned. Um, now the next best deck that could play this is like Exo Sisters and Fluent Rees. Those cards do not care about anything getting banished. So why not play probably the best hand trap in the current format? I do see uh, there's such a huge odd card for this card. I do see that maybe getting hit in the future. I hope so because banishing everything, getting sent to the grave, turning off cards, turning off strategies, it's just too strong of a hand trap. Uh, maybe I'm just being a baby about it. Maybe I played against too many shifters, um, but I think it's still a very ha powerful hand trap. I would play it if I was playing decks that had the ability to play it. And because of that, I would argue and say it's probably the best hand trap in the current format, if not tied with like infinite impermanence. Spooky Dogwood, I swear to God, this card is fucking bad, but it's so cute, you know? Like, I, I, I just hope one day that this card might come back into the format. There's been, you know, say that... You know, with Unchained, this card might come back. Um, I don't think so. I, I remember I was at my local uh, and uh, a couple of players were playing and someone did Spooky Dogwood. Uh, 
and someone managed to build a board and still punch for game. It was the fucking funniest shit. I forgot the exact combos and like decks that they were playing, but they told me the story and I'm like, oh my god. Um, but rest in peace, Spooky Dogwood. One day you will have it, but you're just too cute to ignore, you know? Like you're like, it's just too adorable, you know? Effect Veiler, uh, super. <laughs> Fuck branded monkeys. Uh, Effect Veiler, I think it's a very, very powerful card. Um, obviously, it targets, and it could only be used on your opponent's turn. Um, that is the downside to the card. But overall, super good. Uh, targets negates the effect. Um, but because of that, I think it's like good with like solid coverage. I think it having to activate only on your opponent's turn and targets might be bad. Uh, because if your opponent just gets rid of the target, then there's nothing else to target. Um, so I do think that uh, because of that, I think it's good and solid coverage. Now let's talk about DD Crow. Uh, DD Crow, very very powerful card. Uh, it's a bestial without the body, and being able to target and banish anything in the graveyard. Uh, quick effect, super super good. Very popular card back in the day. Uh, but now that Unchain, now that D Link, now that Pearly are such huge threats. This card is coming back into the fold, and because of that, I think it might be able to be uh, one of the best hand traps in the current format. Pearly being probably the biggest target because they just attach everything from the grave and then make that material. You could target the cards with DD Crow and banish it before it becomes material. Uh, target the same monsters in the grave versus Unchained. Uh, target uh, whatever Abyssia were to target. Uh, the coverage is too good. It's as good as a bestial because it does everything that they do yes without a body but it gives you more coverage um so i would say that it's probably in this category amazing great coverage in my honest opinion contact c uh contact c i think it's a very powerful card um obviously you have to know the matchup and you have to time it perfectly or they could be used they could your opponent could use it as a material uh thank god that um a Vertian Anaconda is gone because you give this to your opponent and they just use it. But uh, I think it's still a very powerful card. Um, I think it's situational uh, and okay coverage. If you hit them at the right time, this will stop your opponent. Uh, but Ghost Ogre, man, I think one of my favorite Ghost Sisters, I, I really enjoy this art. Maybe she's on here because of that reason. But I do think that this card is uh, very strong. All right, discard and then, or they pop, not negate, excuse me. Uh, but because of that, I think it falls in the contact C. Um, it's situ too situational. Not a lot of cards activate their effect and remain on the field uh, that aren't already active already. Um, so I do think that because of that, I think Ghost Ogre goes into situational and okay coverage, in my personal opinion. Haunted Mansion Ghost Sister, I think really good as well. Uh, there's a lot of cards that, you know, special summon from the grave, banish from the grave. And this is pretty good in my opinion personal opinion versus strategies like that there's a lot of decks that do that um so i do think that it's like good coverage uh and good and solid coverage uh because it's good against a lot of things i have like a love-hate relationship with this card um you know if your opponent builds a negate before the fifth summon it's kind of jover uh usually it's going to be like baron and you waste inner gate which is pretty good so it's a one for one trade but the worst feeling ever guys is when you draw for turn going second and then you draw nibiru after your opponent already a massive board it's literally the worst thing worst case scenario in situations like that depending on the deck you can use it as like discard fodder um but i do think there's uh something that needs to be respected uh, when decks or players overextend when they don't need to and they don't respect Nibiru, one big juicy, you know, meteor boy might fuck up their day. Um, and because of that, I do think that it's like good and solid coverage because there's a lot of decks like special summoning right now. So I do think that it is something that needs to be respected and maybe not in the main deck at least in the side deck in my personal opinion let me know what you guys think let me know how you guys feel in the comment section below but that is going to be it for today's video hopefully you guys enjoy the content my name is winster you guys have a good rest of your day peace out